In today's video, I'm going to show you how to combine the best no-code AI agent frameworks to build any agent, to implement for your own business or start selling as a service to other businesses. And by the end, you will understand the strengths of both platforms and when and how to use them, ideally to build the best no-code AI agents solutions. So let's get started. To give you a quick overview of what we are going to build, it's this Flowwise FAQ chatbot to place on someone's website to answer FAQ questions and on top of that, ask the website visitor for their personal information to capture their leads and basically book an appointment. For that, we will build it on Flowwise AI, the AI agent, and use NADN to call its webhook to connect it with our Google Sheets, where we then capture the leads so our sales team can later call them back for a consultation or whatever service you're offering. Now, let's get started. Head over to chat flows and add a new chat. Now, let's name this first. I name mine FAQ chatbot. Save. Then head over to the notes and let's select the tools agent. Drag it to the canvas. Then we need to add first the chat model. Let's get a chat model. Chat models, I select OpenAI since I've already set up my API keys. And then connect it to our tools agent. Select the model. I select mini for testing purposes. Obviously in production, I would go with the 4.0, the regular 4.0 model. Then select your APIs. I already set one up. If not, go get your credentials from the OpenAI API website, name it, add your API key and save it. So I did that. Let me select mine. Great. Next, we have to add a memory. So it's basically the short term memory. So the AI agent have a context overview of the, the chat with the user for that. Let's head over to memory. and select buffer memory. Let me add it over here and establish the connection. Great, did that. Next, we need to add a tool. For that, we will add the retriever tool. Scroll all the way down to tools and get your retrieval tool or retriever tool. First, Establish connection to your tools agent. Give it a name. Lead gen. Great. Give it a description. Um, so the AI knows when or for what to use this tool. Use this tool to retrieve FAQ answers. Great. Next, we have to set up our vector store, basically our rack. For that, let's scroll all the way down to vector stores. And then use the new feature document store, the vector store node in Flowwise. Let's add that to our agent. and then connect it. Great. Now we have to set up the document store. For that, let's save our AI chatbot first, then go back to the menu and then document store. Now add a new one. Let's name this FAQ. Um, write whatever we want. FAQ data. Add. No. Select this one. Now we have to add a, a document loader. So here you can choose whatever you want. I will use a text file to upload my, let me show you my, to add my FAQ question and answers. So 
Let's close that. Upload file. Great. Select your file, whatever it is. I use my FAQ text file. Then here we don't have to do any changes. Let it as is. Preview chunks. Obviously, it's a small uh, data set, so it's just one chunk. If it would be a large data set, you would see a lot more chunks. Great. So click on process. Now, next, we have to upsert config. Let's set up our embed model. Um, for that, I use, again, OpenAI embeddings. And for the model, text embed free small. Remember this model, we will need it later. And your API key. It's the same API key as for the chat model. The rest you can leave as is. Keep it really simple today. Next, head over to your vector store. For that, I will use Pinecone. Head over to Pinecone, sign up or log in. If you're in your dashboard, go to databases, index, then create index. Let's name it Flowwise. Great. Now, as I said earlier, you have to remember the model we, we selected in our vector store. So it has to be the same model, text embedding, free, small, because of the dimension, it's super important to keep it the same. And scroll down, serverless, AWS, it's okay, I'm on the free tier, and create index. Great. Next, you have to go to API keys, create a new API key, name it, and then it will give you a long API key. Copy it and go back to Flowwise, where you have to set up your credentials. I already did that, so I use my Pinecone API. It's the Pinecone index is Flowwise. It has to be the same as in as in Pinecone, the name you gave to your index. So just keep that in mind. Great. No other changes here. You could go with a higher top K, but it's a simple data set or FAQ file, so I leave it as is. Save it. And the next step, you could set a record manager, but I skipped that part. So absurd the data. Great. Now you could test it. Close. Go back to your chat and select your chatbot from earlier. Now we can select our vector database, our FAQ data set. Great. There's one more thing we have to do here is to give the tools agent a specific prompt for that. Open additional prompts and here at your prompt. So I wrote mine. You basically give it some responsibilities, provide information, use the data provided in the files to answer questions related to products and services offered by the AI agent guy, and so on. What we want to capture is later here, first name, last name, email, phone, which is super important. So that's the prompt. Save it. Close. Now we have our chatbot that can answer questions based on our FAQ. I'll save it first. Let's check our chat functionality. Who am I talking to? And it remembered it's Rocky. I named it Rocky. Works for the AI agent guy. So for me, great. Let's clear this for our next step. Now we have to establish the connection to our N8N workflow. For that, we have to add here another tool. Go to the plus sign, scroll all the way down to tools and select custom tool. Great, let me first establish the connection, add another tool, great. Now I have one, but we create together a new one. Let's call it add leads as a description. So the LLM knows when to use this one. Add a description, use this tool to capture leads. Just that, super simple. 
Next, we have to add schema. So what we want our AI chatbot to pass to an add-in, right? So add items. So here, first name type is select string description first name and check the box here because it's required next add another one last name again select string Last name, and again, check this. Now this is, as you can see, this is the tedious part. We have to add another one, email. Again, it's a string, and the description, email. Again, it's a required field. And last but not least, phone. Again, will be a string and the description is phone. Great. Now we have to do a little bit of coding to call our web hook from NADN. You can see an example by clicking on an example. It's basically just a fetch where we have to add our web hook URL from NADN, which I will show you in a sec. And we would have to change this instead of get to post because we want to send some information or some data to NADN. So, so let me delete this one. So let me add this in to showcase you set as a post request. We will add the URL in a sec and the body the JSON stringify what we want to pass first name, last name, email and phone, right? Great. Now head over to Flowwise and create a new workflow. Now here, add a new trigger, which will be a webhook on webhook call. So test, change this to post, um, header authentication none, delete this, oh, YouTube demo just to keep it simple and now copy this URL head back to Flowwise and in here at this URL so we establish a connection with our NADN workflow add and it's saved now just save it go back to NADN and click on listen for test events. And here's a success message. Thank you, John. Your appointment has been successfully booked. Great. Now head over back to NADN. And now we can see the webhook catched our information from our Flowwise agent. Great. Let me pin this for now. So next, we have to add here our CRM. To keep it simple, I just use Google Sheets. So for that, let's add Google Sheets. Then select Append Row in Sheet. Select from URL. Copy the URL from your Google Sheets file. Paste it in. And select, now it should show us sheet one. Great. Now, in your Google Sheets, you have to obviously create your columns, first name, last name, email, and phone, so NADN can retrieve correct columns. Now we have to pass the data in here. First name, let's scroll down, add first name. Last name, email, and phone. 
Great, test the step. And it was successful. Now let's check it. And as you can see, the second row has been added to it. Great. Save this. Let me run the test again. Yes, unpin the test. Now it listens again because we didn't publish this yet. It's just a test run. Head over. Clear the chat history to test it in full. Basically, it would look like this one, this chat box you would place on your website. How can, how can I help you? What services do you offer? Now we get basically our question answered by the AI, which is correct. And then it asks us if we want to book an appointment. Yes, please. Great, Sergeant, the AI agent guy. Test at testmail.com and phone number, any random number. And the success message. Now let's go. And here's a successful workflow. Now let's check our leads file. And there's the leads captured automatically by the AI agent. Amazing, it worked. So as you can see, we built a sophisticated FAQ chatbot in Flowwise AI and combined it with NNN huge pre-built app connections, which is a super strength of NNN to use it as a connector to all those pre-built tools, as well as workflows. We could also just call another workflow, right? Like an automation within N8N via this webhook. So the webhook is super powerful to connect. Again, and this time it was a post request because we wanted to send some information to our N8N workflow. It could also be a get response if you want to do some action on N8N and then retrieve it via our Flowwise AI agent. Why I like to use Flowwise AI is for one obvious reason, it's I definitely preferred its chat UI, which is way, way prettier than any dance one. And as always, you can embed it in your website, embedding it within the body tag of the HTML or call it as an API. Great. And before I let you go, I would like to ask you for a favor. Head over to LinkedIn and connect with me. I will follow you back. I have to vitalize my LinkedIn profile. So you would do me a big favor if you connect with me on LinkedIn. Guys, if you're enjoying this content and want to dive deeper into building AI engines, join my newsletter where I share exclusive tips, tutorials and insights every week. Perfect for everyone looking to master AI agents. So check the link in the description and sign up if you'd like to get more insights about AI agents and my personal opinions about the current state of agents. So that's it for today. Hope you like this one. AI agent out.